What do you think you're doing here? I don't know, officer. Please help me. Tell me what to do. Are you out of your mind? Yes, he is. Get out of here. Jeez, okay. I guess I got confused. Hey, you know what might help is maybe if you guys cordoned off the area with some kind of uh, bright yellow striped tape. Like, you know, real police officers. And now we fall back into the routine of just trying random Why doors. Why are you oh. me this now? You were supposed to have those requisitions months ago. Yes. And, uh, no? All right. There's no I in Evil Corp, Thomas. Uh, well, actually, yes, there is. I guess the only thing left to do is, uh, check the door to John Malkovich's head. Maybe I can somehow open it, or it has been opened for me. I don't know, I'm really floundering at this point. Check the desk, nothing on the desk. You know, I really yearn for some kind of pointless fetch quest, or some kind of random grinding of common vermin for somebody else. I don't know why we're so fascinated with this door. It's just Billy Barty's old office. Look, Curtis, if it means that much to you, go down to the Home Depot and buy a fucking crowbar! Okay, that's it. I have officially done everything. Maybe now I can go to the doctor's office. Come on, doctor. Now what am I thinking? It's ah! not my appointment. Ah! Uh, I'll miss my appointment with Dr. Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll play this your way. I'll try the door I could never open at the beginning of the game. Maybe Baldy upped my access level in the card. Of course not. <sighs> okay. If we're gonna do it this way, I guess what we'll do is we'll just try every door What?! No. It just kicked me out of this office. How does that work? That, it, it's so counterintuitive. The cop chased me out as soon as I even clicked on the door. Now I can go running around exploring. Was she out getting donuts or something? I just don't understand. He goes right for the phone. And I really don't know who to call. Uh, I could try calling the devil. Maybe the devil will help me out of this game. Six, six, six. Uh. Six. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as done. <sighs> Please check the number and dial again. Well, I would if I knew the area code for hell. Alright, alright. I gotta go back to my cubicle and try to find the phone list. I can't remember any of the numbers. I probably should have written them down. Oh, there's a list here. Uh, great. Remind for... Oh, uh, I think I'll call the guy who was having the argument in the office. I guess it's important that I get him out. Because he has all that secret stuff hidden in his desk or some shit. Hi, Mr. Warner, this is Tom. <laughs> uh, we need you to the fourth floor conference room right away. Okay, Tom, what's your last name? I don't know. Okay, so let's let's take a bet on this right now and what the ultimate cause of this is. Do you think it's some kind of mad scientist, uh, extra-dimensional aliens, Hellspawn, Great Cthulhu, or it's all just in Curtis's head? Uh, I'll be back with my prediction later on. But first, let's check uh, Bob Evil's office. Or oh no, his name's Paul Evil, right? There's always really ominous music in his office. That and copious amounts of stuffed antelopes. I'd just like to see Ace Ventura walk in this room. Ah! So really all I do from this point is I just sweep my cursor from left to right, top to bottom, looking for any kind of hot spots, getting nothing except the desk. Okay. Once again, we start from the top, sweep our way down, and I'm going to settle on uh, the picture on the desk you can click on. Oh, that picture's sharp. Do you have serious red-eye problems in your photographs? Try the new Canon Sport Pro with dynamic red-eye correction. Because, I mean, you got serious problems with your old camera. Mmm, sometimes they just can't lobotomize a guy enough. 
Okay, next up on the list is the computer. From PA Warner, gentlemen, good news. Our external sources tell us that Wintech is indeed the only company currently researching interdimensionally. I, I mean, I was totally going to say it was interdimensional aliens earlier, so I swear. And its potential for earning profit. The Threshold project is still ramping up after almost 30 years of hiatus, but we expect to be fully online soon. Tests have been proved, and the Threshold project is still running properly, although some upgrades of the flux controls were necessary. Ooh, he's got the flux capacitor. We have not yet achieved synthesis of whatever. Uh, keep searching the desk. Can't use the phone. Can't use that. Okay. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Yeah, thanks for the translation. Yeah, well, seize this, Warner. I heard that, Curtis. Okay. Nothing else I can click on. Not the plaque on the wall. Not the clock. The desk I can click on, but there's nothing there. Can't click on the animals. I'm just doing circles now. There's nothing there. Click on the desk again. I'm trying to click on different stuff on the desk, and it just takes me right back to the desk. There's gotta be something. Uh, maybe interact with the inventory. Oh, that's new. Let's see, I can't click on the monitors. You really think it's wise to be rooting around this guy's office when he's clearly, like, in league with the Lord of Darkness? There's there's nothing to click on. I, I don't get this. There's absolutely nothing to click on. I'm just spinning around in circles. Did I find everything there was to find? Maybe try different directories? Can't, so... no. Okay, once again, I'm out of ideas. Just clicking... What the hell? I can open the drawer. I swear to God, I could not open that drawer before. I I must have had to click on the computer or something to open the fucking drawer. I hate that. Why I won't let you just do something simple that you would ordinarily try. The first thing you would try until you've accomplished something else that has nothing to do with the task of opening the drawer. Uh, the only thing I can click on in here is a key, so I got that. Busted. Well, just what would you be doing in my office uh, when I'm not here? I was just admiring your singing well-mounted trout. I, I was just, um... Let's say we cut the crap. You've been poking around in places you don't belong. Don't make the same mistakes your father made, boy. Snooping. I would hate to have to... Lose you. Yes, lose you in a fiery truck Sorry. accident and lots of blood and cancer. I wonder if he saw that open document I had on my desktop about the interdimensional aliens crossing through a rift I made in the space-time continuum. <laughs> you can actually hear demonic laughter in the office now. Curtis, bro, I think it's time to quit. Go to careerbuilder.com or something. Nothing is worth this. Ooh, Bob's office. I found a button. You know, it seems like those little minor details the cops would probably pick up. Okay, now I'm just checking the other cubicles, see if I can click on them, and no. I'm going to try my cubicle now. Of course not. <laughs> Don't spare me a second, game. I want to see every step he takes out that door. Good. Okay. Let me try the doctor's office now. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I got that key. The key, yeah. Hopefully that is the key to John Malkovich's head. We've been waiting the whole game for this. And it better fucking work. Just move the boxes. Move the computer. Make it difficult for me. Just open the door. Watch, it doesn't work. Nope, there you go. It's gonna fall out a portal on the New Jersey Turnpike. Melkovich, 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 Melkovich. This is just the Hobbit's bathroom. How do they get a filing cabinet in a door that small? Wow, no wonder Triple H quit this job. They put him in such a little teeny office for such a big guy. 
And let's see, Secret Plans for World Domination 2004. Ingredients to Crystal Pepsi Toolbox. Great, I have found the Maintenance Guy's Supply Closet. Wow, Phantasmagoria! And I can't open the box. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> now he knows what it's like to own a three-bedroom apartment in Japan. He must have found the express elevator to hell. Going down. He must be reliving his old college dorm days. Get away from me, you... You what? You monster? Blob? I'm not the monster, Curtis. That would be your daddy. No! Oh, uh, yes. yes. Your father. He committed atrocities to stir the stomach of Joseph Mengele. He wallowed in death. No! I just want you guys to know that in a minute I could be making a Curtis coming out of the closet joke, but I'm not going to. Because I'm better than that. Let's see, and there's nothing else to click in here, so I leave. Hey, wow, and he shoved that toolbox up his ass! Okay, I would like to open the toolbox now. Well, okay, I gotta cover the door back up. Okay, open the toolbox. Hmm. Open the toolbox. I can't open the toolbox. I tried clicking it on the eyeball, I tried clicking it on myself, so nothing doing there. I know what we could try. We could try having a uh, blob nod open. There we go. Actually, no, somebody told me I had to click on the, uh, the toolbox on myself, but it can only do it at home. And now I magically have the toolbox, even though the video clearly showed me not entering with it. <sighs> okay, a piece of paper on top, or like a... What is that? Oh my god, I finally found it after all these years. The Colonel's secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. Threshold. Anyway, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? You can only open the toolbox at home. Like, it doesn't give you any indicator otherwise that that's where you're supposed to open it and click it on yourself. Uh-oh. I found something evil because the music is ominous. Hmm, it's pretty, but it's not quite my size. I better find that music box. Damn it, after all that time, I was hoping for something good. I can click on the tray thingy. It. I think this stupid son of a. What is with that? It's bizarre. The tray's bolted in. Why would you do that? That's just great. Another puzzle to artificially lengthen and enhance the difficulty of this game. I have a screwdriver. Come on, put some muscle into it, Curtis, you puff. Oh, let me do it! Give me the screwdriver. That's not gonna work. Once again, the screwdriver is complete fail. I'm telling you, we gotta get Blob to chew through the bolts. Okay, why do we need to see this? I can trust that he closes and secures the fucking toolbox. Once again, given no prompting, I will try the doctor again. I'm failing that. Ooh, it worked. I probably should have read that file folder before I came here, but fuck it, I don't really care. Why the point of view shot? Curtis. Wow, look at the size of that diploma. She must Hello. be a great doctor. I'm Dr. Harburg. Nice to meet you, doctor. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat. Strap in, Make folks. I get the feeling you're in for a series of really long, talky, pointless so, scenes. What brings you here today? Well, I've been killing uh, people. I, um, I've been having some trouble dealing with things lately. Like I, killing people. I keep getting freaked out by um, my rat, my boss, killing people. Uh, nothing. I, God, I don't know where to start. That's okay. Take your time. Uh, talk about anything, anything that comes into your mind. That's right, Curtis. Take all the time you want. I'm not going anywhere! You know, once you start hallucinating drowned corpses and demonic voices telling you to kill people, I think you're a little bit beyond counseling. 
Look, no offense, but I am not very comfortable with this. Now, you think you got problems? That waiter at the Dreaming Tree is still working on receipts. It makes me feel like some kind of a wacko or something. You're not a wacko, Curtis. There's no stigma attached to analysis anymore. Now, if you heard rats talking... Your woo! brain is just like any other part of your body, and when it isn't feeling well, not only is it okay to get help, but it's smart. No, Curtis, the real crazies are those psychos who think their computers are beating them up. Woohoo! You know it's a bad game when your only course of action is to click every item in your inventory on every person in the game. Doctor, I think I may need real help. One time I bought a Dane Cook CD, and God help me, it was funny. Oh, damn, this is hard. And one time, I saw Mind of Men see all the way through, and I didn't even throw up. Not long before my mother killed herself, she... Well, she watched you don't mess with the Zohan. Oh, God. Started dressing me up as a little girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, I would love to see this on Dr. Pretty Phil. Dress. Pretty dress. The true Hollywood story of Clay Aiken tonight on E. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how I dress you, you still be a monster. Wow. Pretty little monster. She did what? Monster. Oh my god, that is the most messed up thing I have ever heard. Have you to are totally bugfuck insane, little man. Entirely hers. You were an innocent child. Although you do have a rather womanly figure. I'm just saying. So she doesn't seem to take any interest whatsoever in the cause of his total gender confusion? Dr. I think that the uh, company that I work for is... Arby's. Ugh. It's conducting some sort of terrible illegal experiment. We call it the Spoonie Experiment. Take a look at this. Found this file marked Soylent Green. My father was deeply involved. I, I have to find out what the, the Threshold Project is about. Curtis, it's an erectile dysfunction medication. Well, it's not impossible, Curtis. There have been huge corporate cover-ups over the years. Remember when the Umbrella Corporation nuked Raccoon City? I mean, how did they get away with that? This guy... I work with Bob. I killed him. He was murdered today. By me. I don't mean just shot in the head either. He was. I mean, I fucked him up. He was spread all over my cubicle. Because I did it. God, Curtis, how are you feeling about this? Well, my elbow's a little sore from stabbing him so much. That's the thing, Doctor. I don't feel anything. Tonight on Dexter. I don't feel anything at all. I only feel something when I have a bloody box cutter in my hand. <laughs> yeah, she's a great therapist. You want to chime in at all, lady? You know, like, talk? Or do you just want me to keep showing you shit? Oh, and I can only have an orgasm if I have a soup ladle shoved up my ass. Is that weird? It's kind of embarrassing. But, uh, I have Doctor Who bed sheets. That kind of imagery has always fascinated me. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Curtis. Robot dogs are very sexy. Have you ever thought about why you like images of bondage? Well, I guess it all started when I was playing yeah. Soul Calibur. It's even weirder, I... Eh? It gets weirder? I feel like the, uh, the person in the picture is somehow being held together. Like, um, they can't come apart with all that stuff holding them in. Yeah, it's a really common problem for me because I keep dismembering women. Fascinating. Fascinating, Captain. Quick, stare down. Me and you, lady. You win. I almost didn't call you. Because my phone predates the Cold War. Because Dr. Merrick referred me to you. He diagnosed my denim problem. He was my doctor at the hospital. Yes, I know, Curtis. Oh, did you hear that? That was the sound of a plot point dropping like a 500-pound bomb. Would you like to talk about your hospitalization, about Dr. About Merrick? your irrational fear of ducks? I'm not going to ask you anything specific about your hospitalization, but could you tell me if perhaps there was one single inciting incident that, that led up to it? See, that's the thing, Doctor. I, I don't know. Ducks have always terrified me, right to my very soul. I don't know what happened. It, it, I just... One minute... I knew who I was, and then the next minute, I had no idea. Now, that happened to me last time I tried to watch Delta Farce. It's hard to explain, but my identity just... came apart, like... Dust in the wind, dude. Like old rotten lace. Like the lace my mother made me wear. Punk. That was the sound of another plot point. I am... Um... I have a uh, date with this girl from my work tonight. 
Her name's Therese. Therese, the she devil of the SS. She is very sexy, and uh, she dry humps me in supply closets. I don't know though. I'm feeling feeling guilty because of my girlfriend Jocelyn. I really should kill my last girlfriend before moving on to a new one. Jocelyn. Yeah. Well, I mean, no. I mean, screw her. Okay, we we agreed from the beginning that mm-hmm. it wasn't exclusive, right? So. I don't have any reason to be guilty at all, do I? Rationalization! I think that's for you to decide in your own mind and in your own heart. But let me point out, however, Curtis, that that guilt is a very, very destructive emotion. (sighs) Can I go back to work now? Am I almost out of inventory stuff to show her? Oh, thank God. I can't show her the ID, can't show her the wallet. Oh, my God, the pictures. I have to show everybody these goddamn Polaroids. This was taken at our company Christmas party. Who carries this crap around with them? I had a lot of fun that night, I guess. (laughs) Looks like you were having fun. I wish I were having fun. Who are those people with you? Uh, That's um, that's Trevor. He's my best friend. And that's Jocelyn. She's my... um, What do you call that thing when a girl sucks your... uh, My lover. Yeah, it's funny. I, she keeps her panties on when we have sex. I've been keeping our work, at, our relationship at work a secret. Are you in love with Jocelyn? Well, I haven't killed her yet, have I? <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's why I'm cheating on her, and I don't but, communicate with her at all. I'm, uh, I'm kind of uh, attracted to Trevor. <laughs> oh, my God. And that worries me, because I've never... Oh. I mean, I don't want to... I don't know if I should be with Jocelyn. Oh, the hits just keep on coming. (laughs) Have you spoken to Jocelyn about this? Speak to them all, force them, I'm Uh, telling you. Dude. I have enough trouble opening up to her. Oh, come on, man. Put those two bitches in a Curtis and Trevor man sandwich. It's funny, even when we're making love, I don't feel totally close to her. Because her panties keep getting in the way. It's weird. I don't think I felt totally close to anyone. Kevin Smith wishes he could write a sequel to Chasing Amy, but this person's done it. These are my parents. Oh, wow, you look just like your mom. Take it back! Take it back! Don't they look happy? Not really. Why is your mom strangling you? I think they were happy then, but... I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember stairs and girly pink shirts. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. It's not fair, you know? None of the other boys had to wear pink shirts. I don't remember any of the good stuff. Yeah, all the kids were laughing at him. He was always, it's not pink, it's salmon. I don't remember my mother ever hugging me or kissing me or just hitting me. And the ten years of ballet classes she made me take didn't do me any favors either, let me tell you. I remember when she killed herself. She just saw the movie Xanadu. So, Doc, no questions about the one most shocking tragedy to ever strike his life? Whoa, did you see that? He literally fell asleep on camera. Years later, my, my father was run down by a drunk in an old Plymouth. I don't remember much about my childhood, but I do remember it was a Plymouth. Oh my god, Curtis. That is pretty fucked up. That's a lot for anybody to deal with. So pretty much flip open the DSM-4 to any given page and you'll find something Curtis probably has. Okay, so finally I'm out of inventory items, unless she wants to see my screwdriver. <laughs> I guess not. I guess we don't have that kind of professional relationship yet. Uh, She doesn't want to see the key. No. Okay. Uh, Can I leave now? I can't click on the door. Oh. I can click on the snow globe. That's a random thing to click on. But all right. My mother used to have a snowstorm like this. She'd hit me with it. Oh, she would. (laughs) I used to think that must be what her mind looks like. All broken up. Wearing a really bad wig. All those tiny pieces swirling around inside. Pretty much all you want to do is pick her up and shake her and shake her and shake her! She started hating me when I was about six. Get out of my sight! No wire hangers! Oh, Curtis, that was her problem. Yeah, I was just lucky she didn't have a very good fastball. You were just a little boy. Well, at the time you were dressed like a beautiful little princess. But you know what I mean, at the time you were a little boy. Okay, am I done now? Are there any other knickknacks on your desk or on your bookshelf I can just pick up and start making really weird offhand comments about my psycho mom about? No. How do I leave? Ah, the door works, finally. Well, Curtis, our session's up, but I think we have a lot of work to do. How do you feel about coming back tomorrow? Because you are out there, man! Oh, okay, I guess. Wonderful. I'll see you then. All right. Thank you, Dr. Harper. You're very welcome. Have a good evening. You too.
Okay, so if these space gods are kind, I can just go to this club without any further interference or having to go back to work. <laughs> Thank you, God. Get out of here. What is left? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. Ed, get out don't of here. hurt me. Hold it. This is a private club. You have to know someone to get in. Maybe if you brought two friends dressed like the village people and uh, danced in the door in a line bopping your head, that might get you in. How about that? Therese gave this to me, see? Yeah, okay. Come on in. Don't get yourself hurt now. <laughs> it's never a good sign when the bouncer of the scummy club knows your date by her first name. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! Uh-oh. You know, he's back on the denim. I think Trevor, you know, he's got the queer eye. He could help you. If he's here to meet the Merovingian, I quit, I swear. I don't know, I can never get into s and It's, you know, it's not the outfit, it's not the leather, it's not even really the whipping or the torturing, it's just the endless looping techno music! Oh, that's good, Curtis. Stand in the middle of the room looking like a complete and total virgin. Techno loading. Choose your destiny. Finish him. Okay, there's nothing to click on about the freak at the bar. Oh, Curtis. No, 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 don't, don't. It's Michael Jackson. Did you tell me, um... <laughs> Do you have any children? Wanna play? I could make you scream with pleasure. Why don't you come back to the lab? See what's on the slab. Amateurs. I don't know, maybe it's my French army beret that put him off. Actually, guys, I just had a thought when it comes to Curtis's mother. If there's been a hanging, has the person been hanged or was the person hung? I never could get that straight. No oh, well. See, now you'd think a couch in an S&M club would be leather, because just think of the stains you could pick up in a place like this. Hey, Curtis. I bet the waiters in this place have to put up with a lot of crap. Hey, can I take your order? I would like a gin and tonic, slave! And be quick about it! I brought my magic cards. Good table here. What kind of a club is this, anyway? What? I said, what kind of place is this? It's an S&M club, Curtis. What? It's an S&M club! Boy, the music here is really loud, huh? Do you need a drink to cope with the ugly truth? No, thanks. I tanked up on chocolate malts before I got here. I find this pretty intriguing. Oh, it gets better, baby. It's karaoke night. Do you have a wrench I could borrow? Like, quarter-inch, three-eighths? I got this toolbox on the tray is bolted in. You know what? Never mind. Listen, I have to tell you something. I can't stay long. I LARP on Friday nights. Jocelyn and I are pretty serious about each other. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna need a lot more booze. I don't really care. Neither do we! Do you think you're the only one I'm seeing? I hope not. You know, I used to bring her along sometimes. Woo! She's pretty cute. Oh, Curtis. Green light, baby! Green light! I, uh, I'm just gonna go hit the payphone real fast. Yeah. True. Where do you keep your money in that getup? I'm not being judgmental or anything. Yet. But you're a twisted leather freak. Hey, can I have a red shiny rubber? I really hope she's talking about a drink. I just don't understand why people need to feel pain to have fun. If that were true for me, this would be the greatest game in the world. Have you ever been whipped, Curtis? You mean literally or metaphorically, because, you, you know... Have been oiled down and candlelight and beaten with silk straps? Well, there was that one time my mom... No. It's complicated. You know... I can do better. Sensual pain isn't like hitting your finger with a hammer. It's intensely erotic. Now, this game, on the other hand, is like hitting yourself in the finger with a hammer. There's your Jaeger bomber. Yes, can I help you? I'm Stephen Baldwin. What an eccentric performance. Well, she's ordered me a mystery drink. Now my manhood's been challenged. I gotta pound it down. Oh, what the hell? It won't kill me. I hope. Come on, do it! Chug, 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 chug. Oh, you blew it, dude. Oh. 
wasn't so bad, was it? It's not alcoholic, it's just strawberry Fanta, but it's still nasty. Ooh, cold drink! I drank too fast. Mmm. Whoa. This is how Amy Winehouse sees the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the comic stylings of Danny Trejo! Oh god, I blacked out! What do you call them if you have more than one dominatrix? Dominatrixes? Dominatrices? Who are these people? Right here. I want it. <laughs> sure it is. I'm gonna enjoy watching this. Two to one says he cries and backs out. Alright, mister, you take back what you said about Firefly. This must be the extended 45-minute cut of whatever the hell techno song this is. All right, big hand for the nerd who's way out of his league. Now, we've never met before, have we? For my first trick, I'm going to make all of your acting talent disappear! Oh, I guess too late. Sorry, folks. Sorry. False alarm. By the way, big props to the set designer. I mean, doesn't this just scream S&M club in the big city? What with the couch and the curtains concealing the daytime outside and, uh, yeah. Oh man, I never wanted to be this close to his happy trail. <laughs> How much of a lightweight is Curtis? It's only been one drink, and ten seconds later he's already about to pass out. Gah! Ugh. Uh, don't tase me, Mom! Ah! Oh, gross, Curtis's O face! Ah! <laughs> okay, just a little prick. <laughs> That's what she said. Little piercing joke there. <laughs> Four sips, sip, sip, sip. Is there some kind of divine glow coming from his crotch? Congratulations, man, you're pierced. You've taken the first step in becoming a man. Ah, he's becoming an angel! Oh. Okay, now keep it clean. Don't take it out for a few weeks. I get infected. Okay. Right, see you later. Uh oh. Cinemax music kicking back into high gear. Right. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I mean, I paid money for this. Is this really what I wanted? Ugh. Ew, the sink is wet. Why is the sink always wet? Motorboat. <laughs> Say what you want about the S&M Club. They keep their bathrooms clean. Even the liquid soap dispenser is fully stocked. Mm, your finger tastes like rat chow. Ugh. You know, with my luck, I'm the guy in the bathroom stall just trying to take a dump and all this is going on. The Young Bill Clinton Story. I think they're both going to look back on this day and both feel really cheap, I guess. Okay, so Bob's dead, he's railed two hot blondes in two days, and aside from the devil, pretty much the best week ever. I think I sprained my penis. Seriously, she didn't even follow him home. I mean, right now he could go get a beer, play some Gears of War, and go to sleep. What's he complaining about? I never thought we'd see an actual two-minute scene that was comprised entirely of literal navel-gazing, but Phantasmagoria brings us the true horror! Oh, oh no, I never wanted to see his upsettingly hairy belly button in an interactive screen. No, oh, please, God, take it away. We've now entered the third minute of looking at Curtis's belly button. Stay tuned, the action's really picking up. Well, you'd better stop fiddling with it. Stop that! Stop doing that, and that won't happen! Curtis just learned that if you pick at it, it will never heal. Hmm, huh, someone gave Dustin Hoffman a camera. Oh, he's thinking back to summer camp when the rest of the guys put his hand in warm water. Sometimes Noxema just won't take care of that serious skin oil problem. Oh! See, that's why you should be circumcised. Well, hey Curtis, you're uh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Day three of his upsetting shirt, and the funk is really starting to build up. No, no, there's no need to just answer the phone. You gotta make me click on it, don't you? Hello, Curtis, my boy. <laughs> Why aren't you at work? Well, you've got all of Bob's Whatever. workload to cover now. Well, I, I thought that after Bob and all that we wouldn't. Well, you thought wrong, Curtis. Yes. Yeah. Get those lazy bones on in here. No, no, that gate to hell isn't going to open up all by itself, Curtis. Cold-hearted son of a bitch. Ring, ring, ring. I had that, Curtis. 
Oh, it put me right in front of the door, but I'm not gonna fall for that because I have to go back and look in the mirror because, as the fans keep telling me, really awesome stuff happens in the mirror. Except for that, where Curtis just made a froggy face in the mirror and walked away. Did they actually write that in the script, or did they just have him walk up to the mirror and do stupid stuff, like, ten times? And we talked to the rat, because this is always a classic. I had a really awful nightmare last night, Blob. Yeah, tell me about it. Do rats have nightmares? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, that really makes you stop and think about how much I'd rather eat broken glass than play this game anymore! I, I guess I'll go back to work, but... You know, isn't it funny that, like, most of these puzzles could have been solved if you just ex exercised any kind of common sense, like, you know, going to the Home Depot and getting, like, a wrench, or, you know, just moving the couch. I, I just don't understand why I'm so literally handcuffed to going to the very few places available on the map. It's, it's a really sign of bad design. But we're back in the circuit of just checking every door again, so I'm gonna go check the door to John Malkovich's head, see if anything has changed there. Ooh! Hey, a hammer! <laughs> Well, I guess that'll help me get the toolbox open. If I can use it, use it on the... Nope, didn't work. I guess I can only do this kind of stuff at home for reasons that don't make any sense when there's a workbench immediately available. What the hell? Ooh. It's been plastered over. Huh, well, okay, problem solved there. They're trying to hide something. Yes, they're trying to hide the sledgehammer and the toolbox containing a rotten lace dress that you used to wear. Okay, I'll stop screwing around and go back to work. Maybe they finally finished hosing down my cubicle of all the bob guts. <laughs> Aren't you guys just looking forward to another day of showing all your co-workers a bunch of Polaroids? I don't care about your productivity, Mr. Ward. Hey boss, I just wanted to ask about the venom. Uh, never mind. I have every right to make this work environment safe and pleasant for my employees. This investigation as it stands, your little redecorating spree may have caused you an obstruction of justice. Would you job. mind if we took this discussion to my office, Detective Poe? Bitch, don't go there. Back to work, Curtis. Now we cut away to his office where we see the loudest, most filthiest sex scene ever recorded on film. Oh, what satanic messages will my computer bring me today? Wintech Interdimensional Portals, a subsidiary of Aperture Science. 